The Jim and Terry Show. We're safe. We're in our bunker, and that causes me concern. Because <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're able to speak candidly oh, as yeah. two Canadian retired old guys about world events while suffering is going on. It's not just uh, the current events in Israel and Palestine. It is suffering everywhere. You and I come, we have breakfast together, and we're just two retired guys with a computer, uh, newspapers, uh, mm. books and stuff. And we're free to have an opinion. We're free. Totally free to have an opinion. Uh, where you're not all in many parts of this world. You cannot have an opinion. And we're safe yeah. as far as we know. As far, okay, somebody, <laughs> well, should I be alert? Uh, well, I'm just wondering the whole notion of relative safety. It seems like we're safe, but what would it take for us to feel unsafe? Yeah, I don't know. It was funny <laughs> because I was looking for something for somebody else on my phone and all of a sudden, I started getting information flowing in Here's AI. that I didn't want. This is AI, yeah, Jim. Yeah. They're listening so to you. Watch what you're even looking for for yeah. somebody else. Yeah. Because mm. they find you. Yeah, they do. Yeah. The algorithms know all, they see know all, all yes. hear it's all. It's bad when they laugh at you. I haven't had the yet. My phone woke up last night and said, hey, are you asleep? I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to your phone, Jim? <laughs> it's paging you. Jim, wake up, wake up. You're not going to get some sleep. Okay, we're talking about the final podcast in this series on two guys at Tim Hortons is the sort of the framework that we like to do where we might have gathered to have a morning coffee with the boys, you know, and, and just a coffee and talk about stuff. But often the stuff that we talk about is serious life or death stuff that we're aware of because there is a 24-7 news cycle and we are able to tap into that any time of day any moment of any day and we can see as i mentioned i saw the rocket launches almost real time how did i see them real time because somebody in palestine had a smartphone that was filming the launch and why would you post this stuff because you're taking some delay i don't know but i'm able to see that i d have not seen the horrors and I don't want to necessarily see the horrors. Do you think there is value in... Yes. I, even Israel said, please... You, you get, need to look. Don't get, look no, away. Don't look. No, no. Israel said, don't let your kids see this stuff. Get Take take them offline. Do not let your kids see what's being posted. Really? So yeah. it, it's not don't look away and stare I think, at this I stuff. Think, I, think, I think what they're doing is I think they're going to leaders of the world. And woe, sad for the leaders. But... Uh, they're going to I send the leaders the information. Look, from at, a, look at this. Yeah. This is what they have done. This is what they're doing. Here's a video of parents being assassinated before their very children's eyes. Here's a, a daughter being raped before her mom and dad gets shot in the head. Uh, it just atrocities beyond our imagination. I don't even want to think of them. I don't want to see them. And then and, there's the ISIS link, which is, you know, Jihadi John used to be famous for beheading captors. Captives. Well, it's, it's funny. Netanyahu says uh, uh, says that uh, Hamas is ISIS. ISIS. Uh, that's what he said. They're the same. Yep. Well, the terrorist is a terrorist. It doesn't matter what your initials are or what your flag is. Mm. Um, but terrorism. How can you not even say within your own soul this is wrong? Yeah. You're going to cause terror. Yeah. Who do you? You're a devil. Yes. You're going to cause. Terror. I mean, not just concern or proving a point. We're not. We're going to prove a point by terrorizing you, and terrorizing your people. That's how. That's how much hate okay. develops. Uh, I'm going to say the Congresswoman Rashid Talib, I think is her name, has a Palestinian flag outside her her door. Because her parents are, I'm not going to say refugees, I think they're immigrants. So they're, mm. they didn't escape Palestine, they were able to choose to leave. Is it wrong to have that flag there, or are we now at a point of no return where you cannot display the Palestinian dream of a two-state presence in the Middle East? Listen, I'm funny. I don't think you should have to take your flag down. 
But I get upset that someone flies a foreign flag outside their door because it's a soccer team they support. You know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of everybody, their country, when they've been here longer than they were in their country. Um, but that's just my own pet peeve. But I wouldn't say take down so that here, flag. So here's Canada, here's the U.S., here's the West. Democratic countries. Russia is not democratic. China is not democratic. North Korea is not democratic. I would say Turkey is not democratic. Iran's not democratic. Belarus is not democratic at the moment. And uh, all these countries that are, you know, I'm not sure that Arab states are democratic. I maybe, don't think so. Maybe Egypt because they have elections, but Saudi Arabia has no elections as far as I know. UAE? Yeah, no I elections. think Egypt stands out and has for the longest time, for the since I've been alive, stand out a little bit different than the other Arab nations. I think they really put out a real try at, at one time to have peace in the area, and he was assassinated. The and where's that? Yeah, he was yeah. shot. Uh, and that was after the Six-Day War. Right. You know, in 67, is it? So yeah. is this coming down to um, democratic countries versus autocratic or is this still a religious based uh, war I think it's the way of man you know I was thinking about the other day uh, so it doesn't matter your motivation it, well it can be I, anything I you just gonna let the hate it just boil if over. you let hate come in it comes in and uh, I was thinking the other day you know just because you know I'm into the alien stuff and everything else and I'm thinking I could see them talking to an alien saying why on earth would you think we would ever want to contact you we're not, we're not going to let you into any oh, I organization. You, I thought you were going to go alien intervention as the way of solving no, this. No, no, what I was going to say be a is UFO coming you down. guys just flat out hate each other. Why, why on earth would we want to be involved with you? I, I can really see that mm. being one of the hindrances. You're blowing the crap out of each other. And, and we don't even understand that. You know, yeah. We're a species on our own, we're, and we don't even want to kill you. And you want to kill yourselves. Nah, okay. I mean, we're, mankind is really messed up. We have a historical precedence of a six-day war. I'm hesitating to predict this one. There are too many variables for me to wrap my head around. How long? Well, it depends on who gets dragged into it, if anybody gets dragged into it. I, I'm not very optimistic, Terry, and the reason I, I'm, I'm, I'm very saddened I think Israel's going to have to hit Gaza with almost everything they've got. And it ain't going to look well. It ain't going to look good. And right now they're trying to get the leaders on board, but it ain't going to look good because all the pictures coming out of women and children dying and all the rest of it. And some of that might even be set off by Hamas, uh, you know, uh, booby trap in their own hospitals or something in order to get that picture into the world. That picture, they're going to do whatever they can. Iran's going to do whatever they can. All who hate Israel is going to do whatever they can to get that picture to hate Israel out. That's my belief. But so in this world of hate, is there room for moderates? And is the only way to unwind this to find moderates? Netanyahu is not a moderate. No, I wouldn't think the he's, leader of Hamas is not a moderate. No, I wouldn't think he. he so, he's how a do the moderates rise up out of this conflagration, this mess of chaotic destructiveness and hate? I have absolutely no idea. That's because fair, this is a fair thing. Here are two retired guys sitting at yeah. the coffee table with our mugs, yeah. chin wagging, and yeah. we have no idea. This is way over our heads. I can't speak for Hamas, and I can't speak for Gaza. I, I can't even. I can't speak for Israel. But if I was the Israel's Israel leader, all talks of peace are gone. As far as I'm concerned, so there's no card. To we be we lived in peace. You work in our country. We're we're known worldwide as one of the most tolerated nations on the face of the earth, and you do this to us. And your creed is to eliminate us from the face of the earth. All talks of peace are gone. As far as if I was a leader, are gone. There is no. I'm not going to believe a word that comes from any of your mouths. That's how I would view it as the leader of okay, Israel. Okay, so that takes us back to. I'm Egypt. not the leader. Of, I'm not the leader of Israel, folks. This is, it takes us back to the closed border on the Egypt side on the south, and it takes us to where can moderate Palestinians who just want to get on with their lives just live. How do you just live in Palestine? You got to get out of there. Where are the exits for these people? I 
I think the Palestinians that live in Israel right now might be the blessed. The ones working and living in there and then going home on the weekends, you know. And I, I don't know if any of that's taking place now. I think the border's uh, shut. Yeah, I know, but they may be stuck here or stuck here. Uh, stuck we're not there, Israel, stuck. stuck in Israel. Because um, I don't know where they're going to go. I, I don't understand Egypt other than not wanting Hamas right. to, to flood into their country. Uh, and how do you get to Lebanon? You can't get up there. You know what I mean? You can't yeah, get through not, Israel to Syria. That, you can't get to Syria. Or is there possibly a corridor that Israel would allow for an exit? Well, that's what the talk is now. But don't forget who's now going to exit. Their very enemy. The very one that they want to go well, for. Well, we're hope, hoping. Yeah, you're right. Because those who are the terrorists will hide amongst the And ones just walk who flee out with the with And the walk normal out population. having lit the fire yeah. and watch and it And you burn. can bet your life the Palestinians aren't going to go, this guy isn't one of us. Yeah. They're not going to do that because they're in on it, sort of. I'm sorry, Palestine, but in a way you are. You know, you're not going to, well, let's be fair. Maybe fearfully they're never going to blow the whistle on Hamas. Yeah. Because they, they could lose So this is just like life. Russia where you're not going to speak yeah, up yeah, against Putin. you're not going to speak up, yeah. So you just quietly walk along knowing that guy, two, two people ahead of you. So how did, oh, it gets us back to origin stories. Hamas, why, why a terrorist group emerges? Why does ISIS emerge? Is it statehood, nationhood? You want something to call your own so that you can kick people out and control people? You want to be an Ayatollah Khomeini in Iran? You want to reign with the, you know, authority using religious texts to guide your brutality? Well, when you, when you look at Hamas, what it appears to me, it might be religiously motivated. Uh, the only reason I say that is when you definitely make it very clear you don't want a, a race of people on the face of this earth right. uh, who, who, what humans can possibly say that about another human race? You know what I mean? You, you, you just can't do that humanly. It would have to be the direction, the guidance of God, you know, and I think it might be religious that's motivating Hamas, but I don't know. Give peace a chance. Imagine there's a world, John Lennon. Lots of ways of looking at this, but how do you find your way forward? I'm glad we're not in a position to make decisions, but we are The Jim and Terry Show. 